Yesterday I attempted to make a kernel and as I was learning to do it, it took me four attempts. Each time it takes about two and a half, three hours, depending on the speed of your CPU. It actually, it can take way longer, but I have a very powerful machine. So on my machine, it was taking um, two and a half to three hours to do it. And um, eventually I got it right. I ended up with two and a half hours of video and I have managed to edit it down to um, just 12 minutes. Uh, so there is lots and lots of edit points here. I'm not mentioning where they are. So here so far I am actually, um, whenever I'm using a new bash command I am explaining it in the call out as you see so eventually after a few mistakes I learned the correct way of doing it you may want to watch this video two three times it took me as I said four different times until I got it right and then um, you can make a slight mistake and what happens is you may only discover that you had an error two three hours later one of the times I try to make it somewhere else not in user source and I don't exactly know if that's really necessary. However, it did not work. Um, twice I tried to make it a different way. Later on, I will make a video of the other way once I can actually get it working. First thing, of course, after you get your system ready is to download the kernel. I'm downloading 3.3.2 I assume that means 26 3.3.2 uh, I haven't had time to really even investigate that because all I was trying to do is to f at first just to build a kernel then when you are doing the configuration which will come in a little while you can actually configure your kernel however you want including whichever modules you want to include and excluding and you can patch the kernel and um, you can actually if you write kernel modules and that is going to be the next thing that I will learn and as I learn things I'm going to make these videos and um, so that other people don't need to uh, go through my learning curve um, because uh, at this moment I'm in between jobs so anybody who um, needs a very good uh, embedded software engineer please contact me and um, what is going on is that I have had a huge amount of experience with all sorts of different um, real-time operating systems but I haven't had embedded Linux yet and so many jobs need embedded Linux nowadays and unfortunately a lot of managers are not um, looking for somebody who is good they are looking more like for somebody who has had a lot of experience doing the same thing whether they're a quick learner or not um, that is why I am concentrating on Linux um, so that soon I will have some embedded Linux experience. Uh, in the meanwhile, as I'm learning things and as I have free time, I am producing these videos and I am um, editing them. And in fact, 
as I'm saying, this took uh, more than two and a half hours to do, and it is taking even longer to edit. Um, and whenever possible, I am actually explaining uh, the meaning of the bash commands. And uh, bash, by the way, I've been referring to mean is born again shell which is one of the available shells. It's a shell that I have learned. Um, there are other shells, but I only deal with bash. And that's a standard uh, shell for Debian. Okay, this is an interesting thing. When you have the and and in bash, that is equivalent to the and and in C and all the other C like languages like Java, C sharp, and things like that. And what it does in this case, make clean, if make clean failed, it would not do make MR proper. I like the command completion of bash. Anytime you have typed enough letters to make it a unique choice, you can just tab and it will give you to the next unique point. So if you have um, 10 files in this directory which start with uh, config dot something and you put con and that's unique and you tab you will go to config dot and then uh, supposing the next letter is um, text for one of those and you put T and you do another tab and it will give you the right config dot text and again you can see a few times I use this. Um, you really need to use menu config. If you just do the dot config, it gets you into a lot of questions that you have to answer each one. Whereas in menu config, when I got out of it, my dot config file was ready to use with no change. Normally, well, in this case, I did build a later kernel to the one that I have already on this system. But normally, when you build a kernel, you have changed a module, and you are testing something. Um, remember, when you build a module, when you build a kernel, the way I am doing here is um, you keep the old kernel so if it crashes and in uh, two of the ways that I did it wrong yesterday it did actually crash but that does not m matter because you reboot back into the old kernel you do not lose the old kernel if you do it correctly you just add a new kernel and grub which is the bootloader it stands for GNU Grand Unified Bootloader allows you to select whichever one of the kernels you want to boot into we will notice that later on in a few minutes now in fact about two and a quarter hours have gone by in real time from when I started. Um, the thing that fails is the VirtualBox guest editions which had failed in the 62 bits. I have to learn correctly how to do it. I think I know now um, how to run it as a super user but either way that is no problem and when it boots again you see a red line for a second which shows that uh, this did fail but that is not important has nothing to do with building the new kernel
this method of doing it um, works for Debian and presumably will work for all the Debian based system. I will later on do another method which is more generic and which will work out for everything. I okay we're getting there this is the exciting point uh, I had by this time done it like three times beforehand and it never managed to boot but this time I was pretty sure that everything had worked correctly and it was going to boot and if you see the top one has the kernel that I just built the, the 3.3.2 dash JH just to um, differentiate it from the other uh, previous kernel and here we are it did boot and I'm logging in again I really did not need to go in there as a super user but by this time since I was building kernel I was so used to opening super user um, and here it is